Hello guys, today I want to remind you that this channel is called Laravel Business and I want to talk a bit about business. So if you are a developer creating your own product, what should be the price of that product? How to price? Because it's usually the most difficult question in the beginning. So you created something, you need to put some amount of dollars uh, on the pricing page. What should be that amount? And I want to tell you our own story of Quick Admin Panel as our product, starting from the price that you see on the screen. This is $9.99. It was the first purchase of Quick Admin Panel, happened in 2016, so three and a half years ago. And since then, it turned into a pretty profitable business, but the pricing was constantly changing. And I want to explain you why, what are the possible thoughts on when to change the price, how do you change that, and the general logic. So the story goes, we started with $9.99 for one project generation. So Quick Admin Panel generates the code for Quick Admin Panel. So we charged $9.99 per panel, per project, because we didn't know whether someone would pay at all. Someone did pay and we started earning like $100 a month for a while, but then we delivered more features. And with time being, this is the article I've written in 2017, how we raised prices 3x and we did it twice. So pretty quickly we realized that it's not a business to earn $100 per month and work full-time on the product. So we added some more features and then raised the prices at first to $29.99, introduced a new plan, unlimited plan for $30 a year. And this was the result. So we started earning $100 or $200 or pounds per week. So it immediately 5x our revenue without any complaints or almost zero complaints because $29 or $9, it's pretty much the same range of prices and especially if you get unlimited for $29 for a year, no one really complained about that and especially with some new features released. So that was the first raise of the pricing. And then we added some new audience agencies. So we started targeting not developers, but developer agencies and we created special agency plan which we priced at $199. So it wasn't just a raise of 2x or 3x, it was 6.5x for new features, for premium features, for white labeling, for pushing to GitHub and other features which are related to agencies. So that price change wasn't just the price change, it was a message for a new audience who could buy our product. And agencies do have money, right? They are not just solo developers. For solo developers, we also raised the price, but not 6x, just, just 3x. And you would think that people would complain about that. So how to introduce that price? How to avoid angry people, angry customers that the price has changed that much? First, you need to be confident in the fact that you deliver value. So we talk to the customers, talk to the agencies included, and we realize that the time that our tool is saving, it's not just hours, it's days or weeks. And if you count that in developer hourly rate, that $29 or $99 or even $199, it's almost a no-brainer because it saves thousands of dollars in hours. And here I'm not advertising Quick Admin Panel at the moment, I'm trying to explain that the price should be lower than the value your tool is giving. Sometimes it's hard to calculate that value, but we did it in various forms and that price was okay, justifiable. That said, there were a few angry customers who didn't want to expand their spendings, stay with us on a bigger plan. So for those people, we kind of grandfathered them. It's called grandfathering the old price. So advice to you, if you raise the price, keep your promise to the old customers who started at the old price for as long as it is possible. Unless with new price you introduced a lot of new features and then you can't justify the old price with new set of features. So we raised the prices and the revenue also went up 3x. That was at the time in 2017, then it went up and up until like four or 5k per month. So that's why it is sustainable and profitable business now. And that is one part of the story. The moral here is charge more if you feel that your product brings more value. And it's not just your opinion should be, it should be opinion from your customers and you should see and observe that people are earning more money using your product than you are charging.
if the difference between those two is really big, then you can charge more. And also charging more will force you to work more on your product, on your quality, on your messaging. So that charging more, that raising the price is invisible force that you need to deliver more value now to the customers. Next part of the story is how to give discounts and how to be flexible on price. Even though those prices were justifiable for bigger projects, of course there are smaller developers who don't earn a lot of money and cannot afford $200 because their whole projects are $200. So we were always flexible and personally I gave a lot of discounts of 50% or even 100% sometimes on a specific individual cases where person emailed or contacted me on live chat and told their story and for some stories I totally went overboard of lowering the price. So be flexible with specific individual discounts and also some discounts should be based on the overall trends and the example of this year, this is from my Twitter. So in March, we made an offer of minus 80% discount for everyone with a specific public discount code just to help people survive the coronavirus while still keeping themselves busy creating new projects and that 80% discount basically meant that we cover our costs and don't really earn that much. So be sensitive with your pricing and sometimes make discount not only individually but also like social thing. And that actually didn't hurt us in the end. In the end we went still profitable. So quite often it doesn't cost much to be generous. And the newest part of the story is really interesting. So after that discount was expired, we thought about the market in general. So after those three years, three and a half years of Quick Admin Panel, who are our customers currently? Who are the people purchasing or maybe not purchasing the product? And we realize that the market has changed since then. So this is really important. You need to be flexible on the price if something is changed on the market. Maybe some new competitors, maybe some new technologies. Maybe your product is not that relevant. Maybe you need to pivot into something. So we realize that the people interested in our quick admin panel are from geographical regions who are kind of, let's put it this way, not that wealthy. And they cannot always afford that $200 price. And we saw that while doing the discount for coronavirus, those people did buy our products. So after some thinking, we decided this week to lower the prices again without any discounts. This video is kind of a promotion to that, but also I wanted to tell a story of different pricing shift, pricing periods and changes and with the message that if you have a product and if you're a software developer thinking about how to price your product, the price should not be static. It should be flexible based on the market. You can raise it, you can lower it, you can issue individual discounts or group discounts or be flexible with price in general. Come up with some new plans. For example, at some point we introduced a monthly plan which wasn't in the beginning available. So the latest part of the story, I call it personally June experiment. So we will leave that for June month and we will see the actual profit and see if my personal guess is correct that people will buy the product for a bit cheaper price but in terms of amount of customers it will still bring us to at least the same profit while still helping those people in poorer countries, let's put it this way, to be able to generate the code and deliver the projects quicker. I hope that overall message was useful. If you do want to try Quick Admin Panel, the link is on the screen. And what do you think about the pricing? Do you have or have you had your own personal software projects? How did you price them? How did you come up with the price? Did you change that in the end? How did you calculate if the pricing was successful or not? Share your thoughts in the comments and see you guys in other videos.